best days of the week and it's a sunny 40 degree day today and I'm gonna head back to Sagatuck Dunes for another hike but this time I got my bro to come with me Hey, oh, yo, I've reached the Uriah State here, and uh, yeah, it took the time getting here, but uh, oh yeah, they got a dog now, <laughs> replacement animal. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> so you're ready to go for a hike today? Oh yeah. All right, yeah. All right, we're gonna check out some Sagatuck Dunes. Yeah, so we're starting out at the actual Sagatuck Dunes State Park. Uh, parking area and with the sun and the above freezing temperatures today there's quite a mess of cars a lot of people around but uh, we're gonna hike this north trail and just kind of see where it takes us it's uh there's basically like three or four loops here I think there's four at this north one and then there's a beach one and a Livingston one and then the south trail which is where I was in the last video that you saw Got a whole lot of slush going on today. At least in the sunny spots. Mm -hmm. I had to put the uh, yak tracks on my pack just in case I discover that the conditions are a little icy. But a day like today, you just don't know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Coming through a nice little stand of white pine. Looks like there's been some people sledding out here on this trail. A little bit of a downhill elevation. This warm sun on this south facing slope and there is zero snow well I guess I can't say zero <laughs> there's a few remnants that have been tucked away behind some dune grass that have survived the onslaught of the Sun <laughs> correct <laughs> I could probably lay down in this, you know, and uh, have one of Captain Ron's famous heat, heat traps. traps. <laughs> uh, climbing dunes, especially with a 40 pound pack on and no trekking poles. Oh, shoes man. Dang, bro. Dune climb has killed my brother. <laughs> impressive view of the lake from up here. Uh, I've never actually seen it from this perspective at this park so you kind of uh, hiking out to the north on that uh, north pathway and you get to a spot where it says this path is not a marked trail and uh, that's the way you need to go. Head up to the top of that big dune and check out the lake. We're just uh, kind of doing some off-trailing again here, making our way 
up a couple of really massive dunes. My brother says he sits at a desk all day and he's not used to this shit. <laughs> up on another ridge. My brother's saying, please don't take me up that hill. <laughs> we'll see where it leads. Wow, man. Yeah, what happened there? You went out on the ice, eh? If you want to call it ice, <laughs> more like piles of slush. Oh, fell through. Oh man, <laughs> feet got all wet, eh? Yeah. Oh man. We followed the news at all in Michigan. We've had a lot of beach erosion. This tree got nuked. Treacherous on the edge of the dune. Kind of forced to go up the hill to avoid this uh, area where one could possibly fall through the snow <laughs> or ice or whatever the hell it is. It's very, very <laughs> soft, yes. As we make our way toward the Black River Pierhead and the South Trail. Right, we've reached our south trail and we are heading back towards the woods it's been a little over three miles so far and uh, we are definitely ready for a cup of tea oh yeah <laughs> hurry last video I did that a lot <laughs> getting it uh, going yeah there we go and uh, enjoying one of these uh, Lovely little granola bar things. Can't wait for that tea to get done. Ooh. Think it's ready. Oh yeah, that's hot, but it's good. So, uh, bro, 
What's your uh, What's your favorite thing about hiking out here? <sighs> so hard to pick just one. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sounded like a can statement. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of, you know, just like being out in the woods and uh, gets you away from some of the civilization. A little bit of alone time in the woods or time with somebody that you care about. <laughs> that sounds real sappy. But uh, I love getting out and exercising and seeing the lake and... Uh, like these moments where we get to take a little break and have some tea, have a snack. Good times. All right, done with tea and spent a little bit, a lot of time out here actually. <laughs> Gonna be heading back to the car now. Been out here for quite a while today. I suppose with the phone settings, it's not gonna really pick it up that much, but uh, we're burning daylight quickly now it's getting pretty dark here in the woods and uh we're hoping to make it out before it's pitch black because i don't think either one of us brought our headlamps and uh gonna be some cloud cover tonight not sure i think we're also in a phase of the moon shortly after uh new moon where it's not going to be very bright if it's out at all Well, we made it back to Rise, uh, got to the car after dark, fortunately still found our way coming through the field by the Felt Mansion, and uh, lucky there's no gate. I uh, was a little worried for a moment that the DNR might close us off, we wouldn't be able to get out of the parking area, but all is well, and we'll see you on our next adventure.